Hi gang! Let's go over how to edit or remove a drop shadow effect in Adobe Illustrator. So here's a problem I've been running into a lot lately. Students who figured out how to add a drop shadow but not how to edit or remove it. Uh, so let's talk about how to do that. To add a drop shadow in Illustrator, you go, well you select the item you want to add the drop shadow to. You go up to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow. It's going to open the drop shadow window. You can adjust the settings here. I'm going to put this to 7, multiply. I believe the default here is 75%, uh, 7.7, 7, and uh, 0.5. I was messing with it earlier. We can click on Preview to see what it looks like and click OK. Now that I look at it though, I see that it's much too dark and I'd like to lighten it up, so how do I do that? Well, if I click here and I go back up to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow, I'm going to get this message that it's going to apply another instance of the effect on top of the first one, and I don't want to do that, so we'll cancel it. Another option is going up to Effect and clicking over here where it says Drop Shadow, but it's going to do the same thing. So we can't go back to Effect in order to edit or delete the drop shadow. So here's what you need to do. We're going to go to the Appearance panel. And if you're in CC 2018, you'll find it here in the Properties panel, and you'll see Drop Shadow right there. If you're in an older version of Illustrator, CC 2017 or lower, all you need to do is open the Appearance panel. And the Appearance panel is this little kind of sunburst icon. So we'll open this up and in it you will see a drop shadow effect. All you need to do is click on that to open up the drop shadow dialog box for the one that's already here. And you'll see I can take this and lower the opacity. We'll turn on preview. I can change the offset. I can change the blur. Let's blur this a little bit more. So you can see that's the way to go about editing an existing drop shadow. But frankly, I'm not a big fan of drop shadows on line sheets or any other type of fashion illustrations. They can be distracting, and since so many people don't know how to turn them off in the file, I think the answer is just say no. So to get rid of a drop shadow, all you need to do is, again, in the Appearance panel, click on that drop shadow and drag it into the trash. And that's how you do it. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And for more courses on Adobe for Fashion, visit lynda.com and type in fashion design.